This is Ben McGahey with Yammy Chess. I'm going to be your math teacher today. Yammy Chess is the math learning aid based on classic chess that helps students in math and science education for school. In this lesson, we will learn about very important numbers called fractions. A fraction is a number that represents the part of a whole. So a fraction can be written um, with two important numbers. And so we have this white line that separates the two numbers. Now on the top, the number is called the numerator. And so that's kind of like the part. And then the denominator is the number on the bottom that represents the whole. So let's look at um, three examples here, different figures that we have. We have a, a bar, it's colored with uh, white and brown. And then we also have a um, circle. It's kind of like cutting like a pie or a pizza, shaded in red and yellow. And then we also have the stars, uh, colors uh, pink and orange. So let's take a look at the, the shaded bar for our first example. So the first thing we want to do when we identify what the fractions are is we need to count how many pieces we have total divided up for this bar. So we have one, two, three, four. So we know we have four pieces this bar is cut into. And we want to ask ourselves that what fraction of this bar, let's pretend it's like a candy bar, chocolate bar, is eaten. And so that would be the part that is shaded in white. So we notice that we have four pieces as our whole, so that would be our denominator. So we'll write that with a four on the bottom below our line. And then we have to find the numerator, the part that is actually um, eaten. So that would be counting the number of pieces that are white. So there's only one piece that's white. So we can say that the fraction of this candy bar that has been eaten is one-fourth. Okay. Now another question we may want to ask is how many um, you know pieces have not been eaten or what fraction of the candy bar is left over. And so we count the number of chocolate uh, pieces left in the candy bar. So we have one, two, three. So that would be our three parts. And then over the total number of pieces that we have, one, two, three, four. So three-fourths of our candy bar is left over or has not been eaten. So let's look at um, the next example where we have, um, let's just say this is a, a pie that um, that part of it's been eaten and part of it's left over. And um, let's say it's like a delicious uh, lemon meringue pie. So the, the yellow pieces represent the lemon meringue pie. And the red pieces are, are the pieces of the lemon meringue pie that have already been eaten. So can you find the fraction um, of the of the lemon meringue pie that has um, already been eaten. So the first thing we need to do is count up how many slices of the pie we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we know we have eight slices total. So that's going to be our denominator for the for the whole. 
and then for the numerator we have to count how many uh, pieces have already been eaten so the number of red slices so we have one two three four five so five slices have been eaten out of eight slices total so we can say that five over eight or five eighths of the lemon meringue pie has been eaten Now let's find the fraction of the lemon meringue pie that's not been eaten, what's left over. So we count the number of yellow slices that we have. So that would be one, two, three. So that will be our numerator. Three slices out of how many pieces do we have total? We have eight, right? So eight slices total. So three over eight or three-eighths of the lemon meringue pie is left over or has not been eaten. Okay, so let's look at our set of um, pink and orange stars. And let's ask ourselves uh, what fraction of the stars are pink? What fraction of the stars is pink? So we have how many stars? One, two, three, four, five. Five stars. So we know that will be our denominator for the total. And then we count the number of stars that are pink. That will go on top. So we'll have one two, three. Three pink stars out of five stars total. So our fraction of the stars that are pink is three over five or three-fifths. Okay, so let's look at the um, fraction of the stars that are orange. So we're going to have, we know we have five stars total and we count one, two stars that are orange. So two out of five or two-fifths of the stars are orange. And those would be our fractions for the stars. So I hope these examples did help you with um, visualizing fractions. And just remember that you always have your, your numerator, which is the top number or the part. How many parts you're looking for. And then out of the denominator, that's the bottom number out of your whole or the total number of parts. Now here is a question. What if the numerator and denominator are exactly the same? Exactly the same. So like if you have something like 3 over 3 or four out of four. So if the numerator and denominator are the same, that means the number of parts is equal to the whole. So we can say that those are equal to one whole. Or just one. So whenever your numerator and denominator are the same, then any number over the same number is always equal to 1. So you have one whole. So for example, if I had, you know, I had a piece of cheesecake or something, and I wanted to divide into four slices, and 
and I ate all four slices. And so I ate the whole thing, right? The one whole thing. So that's why it gives me one. One whole. So let's look at a um, couple of problems for you to try. Um, first problem asks us which fraction of the bar is shaded red? And then the other question is which part of the fra which uh, fraction of the bar is shaded green? So that's a two part question. Fraction of the bar shaded red and then the fraction of the bar shaded green. And then our second problem is a word problem. It says Brian cut up a pizza into eight slices. He ate only two slices. What fraction of the pizza is left over? So you want to find the fraction of the pizza that is left over. Or the fraction that Brian did not eat. So I'll give you some time to work out those couple of problems. Feel free to pause the video and uh, rewind if you need to review um, the fractions with the number that goes on top. That's called the numerator. That's the part. Then the denominator is the number that goes on the bottom. That's the whole. And we'll go over the answers. Okay, so let's go over the answers to these two problems. The first part says, which fraction of the bar is shaded red? So the first thing we need to do is identify how many um, parts we have total of the bar. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven parts. And so we, we're going to put that on the bottom because that's our denominator. The total is 7. And then we count how many um, parts are shaded red. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 out of 7, or 5 sevenths, is the fraction of the bar shaded red. Now let's find the fraction of the bar that is shaded green. So we know we have seven parts all together, so we put that in the bottom. That's the denominator. And then the numerator is the number of parts that are shaded green. So we have one, two. So two out of seven, or two sevenths of the bar is shaded green. Okay, so let's go to the second problem. We have Brian cuts up a pizza into eight slices. He ate only two slices. What fraction of the pizza is left over? So we have a pizza. We can draw little picture. We have this pizza and we're going to cut it into eight slices here. So that's four. And there's eight. So that's how we cut up the pizza into eight slices. And let's color in for red. You know, he only ate two slices. So 
And so what fraction of the pizza is left over? What did Tina eat? So we notice that we have eight slices. That's going to be our whole. That's the denominator. Now the numerator. We know he ate two slices. So we know two eighths or two over eight is the fraction that he did eat. So how do we find the fraction they did not eat or was left over? So we count those, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six out of eight, or six eighths, is the fraction of the pizza that is left over. And then another way you could do this is just to take the whole, which was eight, slices and then minus the amount that he did eat, the two slices, and then we know 8 minus 2 is 6, so that would be your numerator 6, what's left over. So doing the subtraction, 8 minus 2 is 6. So let's check our answers. We got five-sevenths is a fraction of the bar shaded red and then two-sevenths is a fraction of the bar shaded green for the first problem and then for the second problem we have six over eight or six-eighths of the pizza is left over the part that uh, Brian did not eat which he would save for a later time So I hope you got those uh, problems right. If you did, great job. And this is Ben McGehee, and I want to thank you for watching this video lesson on fractions. And please stay tuned for more lessons on GammyChess.com. Have a great day.